Hey folks, it's Fridgar here. How you doing? Welcome to Dawn of Man, our live stream. We looked at this game quite a long time ago now, but we're going to go back to it because when we first looked at it, the game was in its very early stages. It's now been out for a little while and it should have been nicely polished off. So we will see what is on offer. Now, this evening we have Julie Clark and Fridgar. Who's that? I don't, know, I don't know who that is. Uh, Snacking Cactus, Smoodalini, Andrew Roth. Good evening, folks. How are you? Welcome to the stream. We've got Smoodalini doing a bit of moderating this evening. I think there was Ryan King there somewhere. Ryan, uh, there, there, there was someone. There was someone else there that I seen was a moderator as well, but. Uh, not sure if he's still around. We'll find out a bit later. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go straight to a new game on here. Now, we've got free play, you've got challenges, and you've got community. Oh, community scenarios. So you've got challenges here, the long march. Challenging, you have to complete the long march scenario. So we've got different scenarios that we can go and do. And then you've got creative mode, stone age, or metal age. And then it's just open free play. So this one here, you have to unlock five milestones to play this scenario. And milestones by playing free play scenarios. And then you've got Ancient Warriors. Requires ten milestones. Requires five milestones. Humble Beginnings. Twenty people. Domestication. So you've you got like a, a series of different challenges that you've got to do. Well, a, a literal um, achievements that you've got to get in there. And then these challenges over here scenario not completed so we would complete that scenario and we complete a couple more and so on and so forth we're going to go into free play we're going to go uh, free play we're going to go to continental dawn we're going to see what this one's like so grow and evolve your settlement from the paleolithic uh, the, the paleolithic pa paleolithic yeah to the iron age about 12,000 years ago the last glacial period just ended this made most of continental europe a lot easier to inhabit human population thrived and a neolithic revolution started Settlement name, Dorgran. No, we're not going to call it that. Um, comments. Everybody in the comments, start telling me right now. I don't know how quickly we can get these to come back because there is a slight delay. What should we call the settlement while I look at the other settings? And who else? Uh, Bite Moose has just joined us. Good evening, Bite Moose. How are you? Uh, location, we've got the Mountain Lake, which is unlimited save games. Game can be paused. Other tribes match your technology. Normal amount of raiders reduced animal aggression. Oh, that's, that's for normal set. That, that, that's the, the game mode. Oh, I see. Right. Uh, hardcore, only one save game. Unlimited save games. Game cannot be paused. Other tribes progress at their own um, rate. Large amount of raiders. Regular animal aggression. Reduced. We'll go with... We'll just go with normal. And then mountain... Oh, I see. Right. So we've got these, these different areas up here. But it doesn't actually tell us very much about them. Forest River... Twisty River, River Fork, Merging Streams, I think that was kind of the first one, and Lake Valley. Uh, so, we've got Frithgardia, Myopic Illumination, hello and welcome to the stream, we've got another, an Eric King. Yes, so, Smoodalini, Eric King and Myopic Illumination are the um, moderators for this evening. We've got uh, Haven, um, we can call it Alabama, we can call it Frithgardia. Uh... I like the idea of Haven, actually, because, you know, I know that we do do the whole Frithgar thing quite frequently, but i, I got to admit, I do like the idea of calling it Haven. Um, so I, I, I think we, we, we'll go with Haven right now. we go with that. Haven. There we go. And we'll do the Merging Streams one up here, just on the foothills of the mountains right there. Let's go. Here we go. Smoodopolis. Smoodopolis. <laughs> Okay, I actually like the idea of Smoodopolis, but we're, we're not going to call this Smoodopolis. We, I think Smoodopolis would be... We would do that in something like... Um, not in City Skylines, but in the other one, in Sim City. Because Sim City, you can have like several different maps and you join them all together. Domestic animals need to be fed and given water in winter. Um, yeah, in Sim City, you, you have several different maps and you sort of join them together. And what I used to do is I'd always make one map that would be... Uh, kind of a a trash one. All the others would send their trash to that one city. That's the one I would call Smoodopolis. Just because. Mainly because he's been trolling me on my videos this week. <laughs> right. We have got these. Now, I did just redo, for my own benefit, the... You know, this is actually 
the bit that you do the tutorial in. That's where you start the tutorial. Right, on this, well, sort of this bit. Looks familiar. Um, so I did do the tutorial very, very briefly, just to refresh how to play the game. I didn't think I wanted to do it in the live stream again. Um, so I've now got to try and remember how we do this. We start off with a stick gathering work area. And I set a stick gathering area, so I'm going to set that one down there like that. So I've got one work area there. And over here, we've got a storage area, we've got a crafter, and we've got two houses down here. Then we'll go for a work area, and we will go for some flint. There's some flint there, and have we got any more flint anywhere else? I don't think that... Yo, there's some up in the mountain up there. Uh, what was that? It looked like it was a giant bird. There's some flint there across the river. Don't really want to do this. So I will take this as the work area over here. I'll put that one down there. So we've got flint and we've got sticks. And they will go and gather those and they will bring them back. And then we go to another one. And we want to do fishing. And we will set a fishing zone right there. So that people will go and fish as much as they need to. There's set amounts that they will go and obtain... So we've got sticks, flint, and uh, fishing, and then we will collect and harvest wild plants. There's another one that we want to do. Right, there's a lot of wild plants over here, so I'm going... Let's have a look at this, have a look around. Let's see what else we've got nearby. We've got another lot... Ooh, okay, we've got a lot of wild plants right here. I'm going to set that one over there, so we've got a gathering one over that side as well. And then another work area for stone. Wondering if I should... I, Yeah, you know what? We're going to go with stone as well. So I'll drop that one down there. Right, so we've now got some work areas set up. We've got some fishing going on. We've got some various different gatherings and things like that. And that's the basics so far. So I can press pause like that. Snack and Cactus, thank you very much for your support, sir. Very much appreciated. It's absolutely brilliant of you. And I am going to go after that wild donkey over there. And all you have to do is press hunt like that. You don't actually have to set uh, a set number of people after it. They will just go for it. I'm going to speed things up a little bit now. Right, we speed the game up a little bit, and we can then watch them go after the donkey over here. Um, it took him a while, but he did go and get it. Now, there is something that you can do. You can switch on primal vision like that. And what this does is it shows you which creatures are easy to go after and which ones are not. That is very difficult to go after because it's in... Well, it's, it, it's, it's difficult to go after because it's in orange. Um, that one over there, quite easy to go after. That bad boy there, the mouflon. And then over here, we've got a cave lion. We've got an adult male cave lion, which is a reasonable way from us at the moment. Let's turn off primal vision. We don't want that on. Um, so yeah, that that is a little bit more concerning. So I just want to, I'm just going to press pause a minute. That one there, as he's close to the camp, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tell those three people there to go after that one. Hang on. I've got to do it like that. And then I right-click on that one like that. And then that that set them to go and hunt. They will come back over here and they will get rid of the stuff that they've got on them. Except that I think there's one thing that I forgot to do first. Which is why the hunt is not necessarily going very well. This hunt is taking a while because they don't have the, the, the necessary tools for the trade. Reindeer has escaped. He didn't do very well. Yeah. My mistake. I made, a, I made a slight mistake on here. Right. I'll bring that back over here and I'll go to the crafter. And I actually need to make some of these. And if you just right click on them like that, it puts them onto continuous production. And then they will start making a backlog of various different tools and things like that. Um, let me just bring this over. What have we got up here? That is bison up there. So we'll let those... I'm just going to slow that down to one time speed a minute. And 
That lot is busy making up there. So then I can switch to manage. I've got stats, resources here. Now this sets the tools raw fit. Oh, this tells me what I've got. I'm not sure how I actually set. See, I've got dry fish there. It's just telling me what resources I've got. L oh, limits right here. See, we've got a limit of 10 fish. And then if you look down here, tools, production limit for spears is set to 100% of the population. Um, so it will start to make the various different tools and parts for um, and, and weapons and so on. And it will limit the number that we've got. Right, we've got a limit of storage slots. Uh, domestic animals, we don't want to worry about that at the moment. So I want to go to build over here, and then I want to go to storage right there. Now I've got a storage tent where we can store some basic things in, but I don't have very much in the way of skins. I can't use those yet. i got a wood pile, and i got a rock pile. Now that one right there is a wood pile. I think it's because I don't have a rock pile. So let me go to here and go to storage. Rock pile and wood pile flint stone and ore sticks and logs so let me put one of these down over here so i didn't have i thought i had one of them but apparently i don't so we will we can't put one there i will put one of those there and also right next to it i'm going to put another wood pile i'm going to put a wood pile there and i'm going to go for a rock pile there so i've got two of each of those and there was another well, production i think it is crafter skin dryer right i do want a skin dryer i would like a couple of skin dryers these are fairly valuable things i'm gonna put these near the crafter so that they will be available to be used fairly quickly i should think and so i'm gonna put one there and we're gonna go back skin dryer like that now Z and C to rotate shift click to place multiples. I'm going to put three of them down like that. There. So, oops. Okay, I didn't need to put that one down. You uh, set the high priority skin. Cancel construction. That's what I want to do. Okay, so we've got storage slots and we've got various other bits coming as well. So now I will press four. We've got some meat and stuff coming in from the hills far away from that donkey that was killed. Uh, we've got fish being fished up down here, and if you look in here, these guys have got flint stored, they've got some berries, they've got raw skins in there, and they've got some meat. First structures, skin dryer, knowledge plus one. We've got two knowledge points up there. Acquire ten flint, work area ob exhausted, obtain flint. So, I'll pause it again. We've now gone and lost... All, we've used up all of our flint already because we've been using it to make um, various tools and stuff, I would imagine. using The, the crafter has been busy making... Look, see, he's making a load of stuff here. So he's busy making those. So we want to try and... Well, first up, I'd like... We've got one adult mouflon over here. So I'm going to select that one to be hunted. And I also want to go to the work areas... We've got manage, uh, charts, tasks, activity, milestones, domestic animals. There was a... No, it's not there. Primal vision, game speed, place, work, area. There was a thing I remember seeing in the tutorial which said it sort of gave an indication as to where these work areas were. We've got that one there, and then I've got a work area over here. And you can increase and decrease the maximum number of people. So I can allow two people gathering food. I can allow a maximum of two people gathering stone. And I can also come over here, and I can allow a maximum of, say, two people gathering sticks. So they, they won't necessarily max that out, but they will start to use them. And we want to go to Flint. So I now need to have a look around. There is no Flint here available. Not this close. Right, we've got Flint up over here, up there, which is quite a long way away from us. And then we've got a bit up here in the mountain. If I spin round like this, come over to this side. Right, there's a bit there up in the mountain that we could get to 
And then there's a bit in the mountain over there. So I'll go with that one first because that one's closer to home. And I will increase that to two people working there. We've got production limit for flint is set to 10 units. So I won't get any more. Let's go. I got game speed times 8 at the moment. Should have... Oh, there's a donkey there. Someone should be coming over. We've got uh, no storage slots left. I'm not quite sure what that's for. And down goes the goat over there. Uh, first animal hunted, move on, knowledge plus one. Right, so we've got left click to focus. Uh, let me just press one a minute, like that. Knowledge. There you are, knowledge points. Uh, let me just quickly go through the chat a minute. I'm Well, actually, before I do that, I want to go up here. And the first thing I want to get is food drying so that we can start storing things for the winter. Very, very useful one to get. And also, I want to get build and I want to go to storage. I want a storage tent. I want one of these. And this one I'm going to put over here. All right, that's... Oh, hang on. Where do we want to put that one? All right, we'll put that one over there. So it's it's within the area of the the settlement. I'm also... Wait a minute. i got a donkey right there. Hunt that one. Someone someone can go and get that donkey. It's, it's come right into the camp, so someone can go and get that. I don't, I don't mind that at all. And then I also want to build some additional residences... Because we've only got two here at the moment. So I'm going to put one there. I'm just wondering if I should do another one. I will do one more. And we'll put one there as well. Right. So we'll let them just go. I'm, I'm going to just run that on one time speed just for a second. And have a quick look through the chat. Uh, what have we got there? Uh, Ryder, good evening, Ryder. How are you doing? Gem P, good evening. Hi, chat. I've not forgotten there's a live stream on this time. Uh, we've got Sunnyan, welcome to the stream. Batstar5, hello, how are you doing? And I think that's everybody that I can see in the chat at the moment. Uh, is Lossing P here? I don't. I haven't seen Lossing P here yet, but uh, he may be able to turn up. He may not. Sometimes he does, sometimes he can't make it. Um, due to time. And what else have we got? Is the goal of this game just to survive or more to evolve? Well, the idea of the game is to advance your civilization. If you have a look here with the knowledge points, you need to advance all the way to the Iron Age, um, all the way up to steel making, hydropower, reinforced fortifications, um, and complex megalithis me megalithism. Um basically get through to early iron age just start making steel and then that's about it it's not a lot else we do after that point uh we've got no storage slots left resources and tools decay over time that's because i haven't got this one here building so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set that one to the highest priority so i'm hoping that they will focus their energies on that one now Let's just speed things up a little bit. I did send them after another donkey, didn't I? Now, what happened to that donkey? There's some meat out over here, which we will want them to... Wild donkeys escaped. Right. It didn't go well with the wild donkey. We've also now got a meat dryer in production. The food dryer, right there. Milestone unlocked, hunting and gathering, knowledge, plus two. I've got this dryer right here, this meat dryer. We will bring that one and we will put that one right there. So they'll build that one. But at the moment, they're going to focus their attention on building the storage tent. Now, dry skins. We've got, we've got to wait for a few dry skins to make. So while they're making, I do still have... <laughs> I do still have a little bit of my cold that I've had all week that you probably noticed in some of the videos. Um, it's a little bit unfortunate, but, um, yeah, so if you'd excuse me a minute, I've got to have a drink and, and cough and so on.
Right, that's a little bit better. A little bit clearer. Here we go. Right, why would you feed onion to me? What have I done to deserve being fed onions? I've, I've done nothing to deserve this kind of treatment. I really haven't. I feel that this is unnecessarily cruel and rather mean. So I'm, 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 going to, I'm, I'm going to object on grounds of inhumane treatment. There is no need to be feeding me any onions. Right. So we've so far we've gotten to this point. We've got some skins here. We've, this one's being the, the dryer over here. That's, that's being um, done. We want to get the dryer going. There we go. First structure. I've now got five more points on there. So let's just slow time. We've got seven settlers in our village at the moment. Five points right here. Click to unlock bone tools. We've got sling making down here. Uh, dog domestication required for goat domestication later on in the Neolithic. We're in the Paleolithic, the Paleolithic at the moment. Uh, tanning. Sledge making leather, leather outfits and spirituality. So, I mean, this is all things that we do eventually want to unlock. I'm thinking a sling or dog domestication would kind of be a pretty good one. We'll go with... It's, it, well, it's one of these three. Let's go with a dog domestication to start with. We'll do that so that hopefully we can get some more dogs. Now, I don't know if the dogs come automatically to us or if we have to bring them to us ourselves if we have to manually sort of go out and find the dogs and bring them back at the moment i think it could be either let's speed things up again so in here we've got some fish busy drying but we don't we've only got one fish in there right there is only one there's what do we got in here there's very limited food here actually at the moment Let's just slow that back down again. I'm going to switch over to Primal Vision like this. Now, that one there is a little bit more difficult. But we could go after that one. It's fairly close. I've got another goat over there that we could go for. Uh, I'd say this is probably the best one to go for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those three there. And I'm going to send all three of them after that one down there so they're gonna go up this way towards that one and i'm hoping that they will be able to take him down it, are they gonna do it they're gonna do it is he gonna escape they right they have got him that's good we've got various dangerous creatures around here We've got knowledge plus one because we've got a reindeer. It's our first reindeer that we got. And now I've got these materials up here. They will bring them back. It might take them a while, but they will eventually bring them back. So we'll have all of those that can be used. And now in our storage, we've got some bifaces. We've got wooden harpoons. We've got plenty of fruit in here. And then you also you have a look around the huts as well, and you can see what they've got stored in them. They've got some weapons and bifaces. Um, I think that's some stone. They've got a little bit of stone there. This one has got some stone as well. Overall, we've got sev we've got seven weapons because that's the limit at the moment. We've got seven people in in our settlement, and we've got seven people here. Um, it's seven different items of each. Right, and the skin's drier. I've got one skin on there, I've got one on there, and I've got one on there. And they're all dry. We've got 20% on our skins at the moment. They're working. And the meat, we've now got the raw meat coming through. Resource has decayed. Berries and fruit. Ideally, we... Oh, the dogs have turned up. Right, that's brilliant. Okay, let me pause again. Because what you want to do is you we need to lay in some supplies for winter. And winter is on its way. Uh, it's currently autumn at the moment, so we're going to have to watch out for this. Now, we've got two knowledge points. Each of these is five points, so we can't do anything just yet. I'm going to switch to the primal vision tab like this, and we're going to hunt something else. We've got another goat up there that we could go for, and we've got a goat there that we can go for however that goat is rather uncomfortably close to three bears over here 
and that's giving me a bit of concern because our villagers, I don't think they're ready to take on such a creature. So if I go for that one up there, and I will send out... Oh, you can't select the dogs. Right, what do you do? Slaughter. Oh, I can choose to send it. I, I can choose to kill the dog. I don't want to kill the dog. I want, I want to select those. Those two right there. And send them after that goat there. Right, game speed times eight. The goat is moving a little bit. And nice, we got that one very quickly. We got uh, first animal hunted Ibex. So we got a little bit more knowledge coming for that one. They'll hunt that, they'll bring it back. So they'll bring the meat back over to there. What about the other meat? Trader has a right. Ooh, right. Um, let me go s slow down. Acquired dry skin times 10. Knowledge plus 1. So where is this? There is the trader right there. Now he will trade commission very high. That's not very good. He's got dry fish there. Value 1 for dry fish. Pulses, value 1. Straw, value 1. Cured meat. Logs, bone, dry skin, value 5. We've got quite a few dried skins, so we'll, we won't worry about those. Um, I'm thinking maybe we could go for some dry materials like that. that. The bones have a high value. Flint has a high value. Stone does not. But I don't have very much in the way of stone stored. A wooden spear. Right, that, I've, I've got trade value 5 there. Trade value... Wow, okay, he is expensive. Three, four, six. Yeah, his commission is very, very high there. Uh, he can have a stone, so we take one cured meat and three dry fish. Okay, we'll do that, we'll do that, because that's going to, that's going to give us some food that we'll be able to use. Now, right, so we're getting some nuts to be stored there. There's the dry items that we've got there. And in these tents, we don't seem to have a great deal of stuff. Let's have a look at the hearth down here. There's uh, grain, requires grain processing. Slot can contain one item, no tasks in queue. Set tire, recycle. Okay, let's not worry about that. We've got the meat being brought over here and dried. And we've got dry skins in there. So now I'm looking down here. We're making warm outfits out of um, hides. So we're going to have some spare warm outfits for people in through the winter. Which is really good. And... Right, hang on a minute. Myopic Elimination is unfortunately not going to be able to make... Many more live streams for a while because his work is changing, which is a great. That is a great shame. Lossing P, good evening, sir, and thank you very much for your support. Good day to you, sir. Hope you are well. I am. I am. Thank you very much for your support. That is absolutely brilliant of you. That is just fantastic. Thank you very much for that. Um, and I'm I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Muhammad Badawi. Hello. Hello. I yeah, I did see bef that you just popped in sort of pre-stream. Um so it's good to see you here again. Uh the dogs here, I don't think that they actually they're useful on hunts, but I think that if we do get something attacking us in the camp, I think that the dogs are actually useful for that. Now, I've done everything that I can do here at the moment. And I'm sort of thinking that there's nothing else that I can do just yet. Right, we've got sticks over here. i got nine sticks. Well, I've got ten altogether. Clothing. Uh-oh. Clothing offers your people protection from cold. Increases well from reduces damage sustained in combat. Skins and wool outfits protect people up to freezing temperatures. It is critical that you, you have one of these per inhabitant. Do I not have sufficient clothes? I've got seven clothing. I should have clothing. And he is... Skin's outfit right there. Warm outfit made of animal hide. Continuous production is on. I've got some skins. I think we need to go a-hunting again. We need to go a-hunting once more. Now, what do we do? Oh, hang on a minute. Let me... What are you doing? You're... 
You're bringing back some more stuff. We've got a child over here. I think they brought back everything from the last hunt now. I think they have. So what we want to do is we want to get them going on another hunt, don't we? If I have a look in here, I don't... Yes, I think slings would definitely help us with another hunt. Right. Primal vision. The bear, we do not want to go after the bear just yet. That is... That's, that's going to be that's going to be very bad. Daniel Wells, I found my tribe kept adopting every dog that came close to the camp. Is it good to have lots of dogs or not? The dogs do help with the defense side of things. Is it good to have lots of them, though? Is it good to have lots of them? This is something I'm not quite sure about. Now, I'm looking around, and as we know, winter is getting closer, and it looks like the game is getting further away. I'm, I'm looking around here and I'm not seeing a great... We've got bears over here. We've got some rather heavy duty animals. That one there is rather a long way away. We've got a sheep up on there. I've got a bison down there which quite frankly could be quite dangerous but things is... I've got to go a long way in order to get them. Now I've got these over here and I'm sort of thinking the whole camp Everybody, a whole lot of you, everybody come out over here and go after that one. Now, is this is this going to be a mistake? They will eat your food, so make sure you've got plenty to go around. Smokers are fantastic for preserving lots of food. We've got, well, we've got one smoker at the minute. We have got one smoker. I don't know if we're going to get lots more. Um... Right, hang on a minute. Let's just stop that again. Now, where did they all run to? Uh... Oh, wait a minute. There. I want to switch to primal vision again. Okay, they're all over here. So we go like that. They're, they're, they can stay where they are, and then... I'll bring them down, and we'll go after that one. Like that. Game speed one. So now they're they're all coming through. They're up there. And they're coming in. Let's speed this up. We'll go times four. Just a little bit faster. And then we got a load of little babies here as well. Right, there's that one out. So now I want that lot to all go for that one. Just, just go for that one a minute. There. There's that one out. And go for that one as well. Are they going to get that one as well? That's that one's... Right. Hunted Ibex times five. So I've taken those. I've left the other baby one. I don't know if this is a good thing or not. So they've we've got all of those. Acquire raw skin times ten knowledge. Uh, bone times ten knowledge plus one. So we've, we've got several extra knowledges. I know these guys are going to get really tired now. They're going to need to be able to get some sleep. Oh no, he's hungry. This dude here is really hungry, but he's, he's, he's doing all right. He's doing all right. Okay, let me go into here, and I want to make some slings. I think these would be useful. And next up, we will go for the bone tools. Right. They're all in here. We've, we've got the tools over here. We've got the craft. At, right, so the, they, they're crafting a load of replacements now. They're busy working on those. New, hu new human. we got new humans. We got more humans here. And population has reached 10. Oh, right, okay. So we, we got more knowledge. So we've got the slings there. We go to the bone tools. The next one we do will be the tanning. And then we'll do the spiritual one last. And how are we doing? That food dryer is fine. In here, we've got plenty of storage space so far. That's doing just fine. And in here, this this is looking good. Right, so we've got bone spear. Now, bone spear instead of a wooden spear. So if I turn off the wooden spear and I go for the bone spear instead, and then bone harpoon instead of the normal harpoon. Like that. I right-click them and I'll have those instead. And sling. Basic hunting tool. Now, that requires skins. At the moment, I've only got four spare skins. So I'm not going to make 
those on continuous run, I'm going to make two slings. Because that one... See there? It's, it, I'm, I'm assuming that the symbols there are meaning that one skin will make two slings. So I'm hoping that that will be sufficient. Now, we sent them all off. They, they all went and they got a whole load of different things earlier. Uh, we hunted all of this stuff over here. So I'm hoping that they will go and get all of those. We've got some meat lying on the ground here. It'll take them a little while to come back through and grab all of that lot. But they should do eventually. Now, I've got flint right there, but I can't get that until I've unlocked the mining bit a little bit later on in the game. It's a bit unfortunate. So I haven't actually played this game since I did the last live stream. And I really, really enjoyed it last time. I thoroughly enjoyed playing it, but we, we did encounter the odd bug, and the stream got bugged as well because of the bugs. Um, so I'm hoping that this time round it will work a little better. The meat, all of that meat that we picked up is now drying out very nicely. I like that. And you can see up in the top corner up here, I've got 11 raw meat and 5 cured meats at the moment. And that is slowly survived the winter, knowledge plus one. We got 10 people. Oh, hang on a minute. How many do we have per tent? How, how many people will it... We got three in there, three in there, three in there. Oh, right. We can have a maximum of three. Right, so we got one person in that one. None there. Oh, that's people that are in the tent at the moment, but they can house a maximum of three. So I've got space for 12 people at the moment. Which means, really, we ought to seriously consider getting some more residential space. I can't get that until I've got thatching. So we'll go with another one of these huts. And I'm going to put this hut here. I'm going to just swing that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to put that hut right there. Kind of put these huts a little bit close together like this. Keep it comfy. Right. We'll go with, we'll go with just one. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. I'm going to go completely slow right now. We've got a storm incoming. I was about to send everybody off. Acquired cured meat times 10, knowledge plus 1. I was about to send everybody off to go hunting. Um, or we'll go and send some hunting. Where's this storm? Right, where's where's the stuff coming down? I'm, I'm seeing flashes, but I, I don't know where they are. Looking around for them. Do I actually get to see the lightning coming down? Is, is Oh, there. There. Do you see that? There was lightning way over in the distance. Okay. Is it, let, me, let, let, me, let me just have a drink a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Jampy, is this early access? No, this is not early access. It was when I did the first live stream several months ago now. It is not early access now. It's a full release game. Uh, it's available on Steam. There's links in the description down below. And it's good. I really like this game. I genuinely love this game. Um, double checking on... Uh, right, oh no, it, it does look like you, you, it's still going. Uh, acquired raw fish times 10. Knowledge plus 1. And let's have a look down here. Okay. This is all working very nicely. That's all working well. So let, let's let's speed this up a little bit. Dryer is going. What are we waiting for with this storm? What does the storm do exactly? Does it scare people or something? Right, do, do, is it is, is this kind of the thing with the storm? Do they end up getting really scared of it? Oh, wait a minute. We'll have a look at this. We've got morale is about halfway on that guy. Morale... Morale is not very high. We need to do something about morale. I think that maybe, like knowledge, maybe we ought to work on the spirituality here. Before we go to tanning and unlock the rest of those, maybe we ought to do the spirituality because we know that, that, is, that that's the sort of thing that they would want for increasing their own uh, their morale. It's, it's definitely something that would make a difference. So I'm sort of thinking that maybe we should go for that. I also think, wondering, are my people able to go up against an ancient bison? An adult male. He's quite close by. I've got a number of people here. 
We've got ten people all together in our settlement. Let's let's take everybody. Let's let's take all of these people right here. I got another one over there. Let's go for it. And you You join in as well. Right. Unpause. Game speed. I'll go game speed times four at the moment. Here they come. They're all coming over. Ancient bison attack. Did anybody actually get injured on this? Let, let me just pause a minute and have a look. It looked like it went for one of these. I don't think anybody died. Okay, they did it. The whole lot all working together. They managed to do it. Uh, this got extractable resources. Two bones, six raw meat, and four raw skins. That is absolutely brilliant. Okay, we've got that well sorted there. We are well on our way. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to feel that this is, this is quite good. Right, we've now got a massive amount of food that we'll be able to use. Not sure that we want a herd of mammoth coming through. Like, primal vision. Ooh. The adult female there, we've got an old female, which should be easier, but that one there is a bit of a threat. We'll ignore her. We're just going to ignore her and hope that she carries on by and, and doesn't actually interfere with our settlement. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to unlock the spirituality one. And then we're going to go... Because that's now been unlocked, we go to spiritual right here. We've got a skull pole. A structure in memory of the dead. Now, we're going to move that a little bit. But actually, there's a lot of strong evidence of spirituality. A trader has arrived. Right, well, let me get rid of that a minute. And put that down to number one. And we go in here. Now, is there anything that we actually want to trade? Some leather. That could be handy. Dry fish. I don't think we actually want... Uh, like, I've got... I've got flint, I've got wooden spears, I've dry skins. We haven't got any leather, but we, we've got everything else that we want. No, I don't think there's actually anything that we want to trade. Even though it's a lower than normal commission on there. Honestly, I don't think there is anything that we want to trade. I think we can leave that one. So let me go... Uh, idle... No, you just, we just... So we just leave the trader... So, we want to go back to our building a second, and we want to go to spiritual there. Skull pole. Now, there's a lot of evidence to suggest the very earliest civilizations, what they would do is they would actually bury the dead underneath the hearth, um, underneath the hearth and the fires would be in the houses, um, and not like a communal... Out well, they would have communal outside fires, but they would also have small cooking fires in each house. And they would actually bury the dead underneath the houses and um and they would dig them up later on and the skulls would be placed um we're usually in the tents but they could also be placed in the camp in a, in a sort of a central location like this so we want to have these in the camp in in a central sort of location like that so we'll put that one down there and then we'll go to spiritual over here and we will have a structure on a nature totem okay that requires sticks bones and some wood as well. We'll move... Right, we, we've got to do... This one I will put... I'm going to put that over here, look. Where are we going to put it? I'm going to put that one there in the middle of the village. There. That, again, it's a worship thing. It would be sort of a central location in the middle of a village like this. Um, right. We will see. We will see. And found uh, Daniel Wells. I found putting the totem in the village itself was fine. Um, yeah, it does appear. I'd make wooden spears to trade as well if you can maintain the trees around you. That's probably a good idea, actually, because the wooden spears we have those on permanent um, make like that. Those. Would be those would be quite handy, wouldn't they? Right, having having the wooden spears and trading the wooden spears because we're not actually going to use them. We'd be using the bones up now instead, so we don't need to worry about them. Now slingshots, we've now got a few slingshots available, so we could go and use those. 
do they necessarily have the slingshots? Can I order them to carry the slingshots around and use them? Is that something that I can do? Make them use the slingshots? They don't seem to have any sling... Oh, this one does. A sling for hunting. But then, if I just click on an animal and say, go hunt this animal, then they will. And what have we got? We've got raw skin for two dry skins. I've got the drying racks over here, and they're busy drying out the racks. I've got... I've only got one raw skin on there. Um... I've got load meat I've got loads of. It's the skins that we really want. That's that's the bit that we really want. I'm gonna go after the Megalosiros. I'm gonna send someone after that Megalosiros there. And I'm going after the big adult male. So one of these let's just speed that up. Someone is gonna go after it. I've got a hunting party over here. They're moving this way. And that's what happens, is that someone will go after it. If you just click on it like that, and it's not like a, it's not a set thing. Okay, so we've got a load of bones and stuff there, but that's all under the water. So i just got to hope that they can actually bring it all back without any issues. I think they can. Wait, what's this? Uh, oh, no, that's the, the people have come and got them. That's all right. The people have come and got them. Let me go there. You are a young Megalus Heros. And then we've got a reindeer over there. We've got an Ibex there. No, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go hunting just yet. Or should I? I'm wondering if I should go hunting. Send some more out to hunt. We've got... How many people have we got in? We've still only got ten people. We've got one, two, three. We've got five... Uh, room for 15 people. I'm going to go for another residence here. And I'm going to try and encourage some more people to turn up. So I'll put another tent down there and they can start building that one. And then we've got we've got plenty of food coming. Look at all of the food that we've got. We've got loads of dry food here. If I look on the meat, 12 cured meats. i got four dry fish. We've got vegetables, we've got some fruits and berries now coming in. I've got plenty of sticks coming in. Flints, we got fine. And bones, we've got loads of those. Raw skins and dry skins. And then we've got plenty of skin outfits as well. So we're slowly increasing in numbers. We're, we're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And let's have a look. What else have we got? I've got more animals up this way that we could go hunting. More animals still. Wish we could go hunting. These guys, they're just getting on with their daily lives. I'm quite pleased with that. I am very pleased with the way that they're getting on with all of their daily lives. Tell you what, while they're doing that, let me switch over to my primal vision like this. And let's see. So we've got some animals there that wouldn't be an issue in the slightest. And then we've got... Quite a number. Of, we've got uh, woolly rhinos over here. We've got the bears down over there. There's a lot of creatures a long way away from us. Mountain lions. Cave lions, I should say. Now, previously we had a cave lion. It was fairly close to us. Ooh. That one's injured. How far away is it from us? That's actually fairly close. Right? That's, that's not very far away. There's no other significant threats anywhere nearby. I think that we will go after that one. Hunt. So I will send them out after that woolly rhino. That is an old... That's an adult female, but it's injured. I need, the, I need my people to come out after it. It's waiting up here. It's going to take them a while to get everything back. But I'm hoping that they will be able to. I've sent... I've sent for them. Ah, uh, here, here come the people. I got three hunters going after this one. It's going to give them the slip if we're not careful. There we... Nice! First animal hunted woolly rhino. Knowledge plus two. 
That gave us a lot of resources over here. I now need them to carry all of these resources back home. That's going to take us a little while. It's not going to take very long. I, well, not going to take very... It's going to take us a little while. It's not going to take very long. That doesn't make any sense at all, Frith. Come on. And do I go for composite tools required for stone polishing? I'm going to go with that one there, the tanning. So that's going to unlock a load of other bits. And we've only got that. Uh, 15 points to unlock the pottery and also the Mesolithic era. Uh, era. Era. Um, era. Um, Cape Lion attack. Oh, wait. What? Where? Ah, down here. I was going for one of my dogs. Everybody come after it. Right, the dogs are coming in. The dogs, the dogs are attacking. This is good. And as the dogs attack, so do the people. And so we brought it down. So the dogs, unfortunately... Uh, butcher. Extractable resources. You, butcher. More extractable resources. Yes, it's very sad that we've lost the dogs. The, we've lost the pooches, but... They served their purpose. That was our first cave lion attack. I've got a wild boar over here. These things are rather savage sort of creatures. Let me just speed things up a bit. Now, where is that wild boar going to go? Hunt it. Hunt it. That's going to get me some more points. If my people can go and hunt that one as well. Ah, here we go. There's, there's our three intrepid explorers. I will get them to go and hunt this wild boar, because a wild boar can be a bit of a savage creature. In, I know in real life a wild boar is an extremely dangerous opponent, um, which is partly why it was prized as a hunting target in Europe, throughout Europe. It was, it was quite the, the sort of thing for people to go after a wild boar, because they are such dangerous creatures to go after. He's badly injured, but the hunters are still on the trail. Go on, hunters. He's injured. Go after him. Where are they? The boar has escaped. No, he hasn't. Hunt him again. He has not escaped. He's right... On. i got three new humans have joined the settlement. He has not escaped. He's right over here. and We've never hunted a wild boar before. So come and get him. He's badly, badly wounded. Come and get him. I've also got, there was a cow over there. Where's that cow gone? That one, oh. It's an old female, but she still seems to be in pretty good condition. So I won't do anything about that for a minute. But that boar, yes. Okay, we've got that one first, animal hunted boar. Knowledge plus one. That's good. So we haven't got a lot of extractable resources on it, but we do have some. Now, we did have... A woolly rhino that was taken down over here. And they've already come through, it looks like, and picked up all of the resources from that one. So we'll let them come back and get... They've gathered all the other resources. I've now got 13 people here. And we have a trader as well. So let's go and have a look at our trader a minute. And what have you got? you got tannin. Ooh. Ooh. Tannin. Now that... I'm fi I, I actually need to start building some stuff, so I'm assuming that tannin is something that would be rather handy. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to assume that we would want some of that. Uh, we will trade in a couple of those. And that will get us value 100 for composite tools. Good gravy. Okay, maybe we ought to be getting some composite tools. Leather right there, value 5. Le leather is good. Well, we've got one tannin, so we'll go with that. Um, value 1. All right, let's, let's go for some leather as well. Uh, bread. So a bit of bread. Yeah, why not? There we go. We'll do that. We'll, we'll do that trade right there. That, that'll keep us going. Now we're down to times 1 speed. Let me just check around the camp and also check for our building. So we've got 13 people. We've got a maximum of three people per hut at the moment that we can use. And we've got six huts. So we've got a maximum of 18 people in the village. So we're going to want some more um, houses. Um, 
let me just have a look down through. So I'm just, I'm just, feral pigs are worse than wild boar, are they? have no fear of humans due to being formally raised by humans. Yeah, I can believe that. Pigs can be fairly vicious, and um, we can harvest tannin from trees like oak, apparently. Okay, that's useful stuff. Storage, we've got the same storages that we had previously. Uh, this storage is fast approaching the point where it's going to be full, so I'm wondering if I should build another storage tent. Uh, that one... These aren't full. I've, I've got plenty of space here. And then we've got the tents as well. With some various storage spaces. You know what? I think we're doing all right. Acquired wooden spear knowledge plus one. So I think we're doing all right with that. So let me go to production. What have we got here? i got the tanner right there. A place to make leather from raw skins. Right. Now, I know for a fact that uh, tannery, it stinks. Right? It absolutely reeks. We don't want this too close to the houses. We want to put that on the far side of the village from the housing. Um, I'm going to come over here. Look at all of these skins that are wandering through the village. Hunt that one. And hunt that one. You know what? Hunt that one as well. Take those three out. The others will let live. But these, come and get them. How quickly are they going to come and get them? Right, that one might escape. I think these two will be taken down fairly easily. Apparently they are all... Megalosiros has escaped. They're all going to get out of here. Uh, every single one of them has just escaped uh, uh, times two. One of these is badly injured. No, not you. Oh, I got badly injured one over there. Right, what's happened? Did it? No, they, they didn't get it. That one there. That one's already... The young male Mouflon there is injured. Okay, we, we're not going to get that one. We, we, that hunt was unsuccessful, so we won't worry about it too much. The creatures came through, then we didn't get anything from it. We've only got three points at the moment. I think what we need to do is we need to be getting more... We're going to have to hunt more. If we, if we do a little bit more hunting, I've got skin. See, I've got loads of dry skins at the moment. Let oh, actually, that's a thing. That's that's a very valid point. Actually, I want to pending materials logs. Um, cut down requires tech composite tools. Oh, ah, right. I go composite tools. Axe. I don't have an axe at the moment. So I need to have the composite tools before I can do anything else. So what that means is we're going to need to go after some of these. That one is injured. Let's go after that one first. Okay. The others aren't going to do much at the moment, I don't think. I don't think we're going to have any issues from those. And I'm hoping that that injured one there, the others I'm hoping will ignore. Yes. Okay, so we got a nice easy kill there. We've got two more skins from that. And uh, acquired by face times 10, knowledge plus one. That one there. So I'm going to switch over. It's kind of dangerous. That would be the really dangerous one there. This one here is kind of dangerous. I'm going to go after that one as well. We got an ancient bison, at uh, the ancient uh, bison, um, adult female. Let's speed things up a little bit. Judy Clark's cousin made uh, uncle, sorry, made a bowling ball cannon. That sounds rather savage. I got to be honest, bowling ball cannon. That really does sound quite savage. Right. I'm wondering about the wisdom of going after that one because it's a long way to go in winter. It's drinking at the moment. I don't think I've got the people to go after it either. Cancel. Cancel that hunt. Cancel that hunt order. Don't do it. Good job. They were right there. They, they were on their way to go and do it. So let's have a little look around. You. What's wrong with you? You could go and... He's going for a drink. You could go and get some sleep if you need it. And... Ooh, what's going on here? Old man going to drink. He's ill. 
He's ill. He's, go he's, go he's probably going to pass away soon. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's not ill. It's hydration. I thought it was health. I thought that was like a health thing. But no, that's the health one there. It's the plus one. Right. Uh, that dude there is tired. He's going to go to bed, get some sleep. Good, good, good idea. Good idea. Right. Now, let's go back here to the old hunting thing. A woolly rhino right there. Now, a baby woolly rhino, a young male there. You know what? We're going for that one. We're going to go for the big one. We're going to go on a hunt with that one. I'm hoping that the ones with the slings will come after it. Game speed. Let's just go game speed up a little bit faster. I've got... Here come all the people. Going for the hunt. They're moving in. They're getting right. I've only got two people coming after this one. What's going on? Uh, my person... My person is injured. Aka has been killed by the woolly... Well, why did you stand in front of it? And why were you stood right next to it for so long? Uh, that's our dog right there. Oh, it's a dog that just kind of turned up. Allah has been killed by a woolly rhino. Now, I don't know if this is what this means exactly to woolly rhino attack over there. So we get a load of skins and we get some other things. That's, that is good. And then we've got another woolly rhino over there. So I'm going to send some people in to hunt. But what happens about the deceased young lady? Is it a young lady? Yeah, the adult woman, Aka, has perished, has passed away. What happens next? This is a bit that I'm not sure about. Now, at the moment we got that, we need the composite tools as soon as possible. Let's see. Uh, they, they bind the body and they will bring her back. They're also um, going after those. I've got somebody coming after this one to hunt that one. Um, and they've managed to bring that one down as well. That's good, but going after the woolly rhino, that definitely put us into um, greetings from the guild, the feed guy. The feed guy, ah, the feed guy, there he is. All right, and Alexander Hodson, hi Frithgar, just switched on. Daniels, you can get some more knowledge points from hitting various quantities of production as well. Um... Myopic illumination. Okay, I'm out. This is my last weekend off for four months. Taking a wife out to dinner, maybe a movie later. Myopic illumination. Have a fantastic time. I really hope you enjoy it. Oh, and we have reached. Survive the winter. Knowledge plus one. We have reached a crucial point. Composite tools right there, which means. Composite tools unlock. Milestone unlock. Survival knowledge plus two. So that's given us two more points. Um. I've now got composite tools. Flint pick, tool to mine ores or rocks. And also a flint axe for wood cutting. So I'm going to right click that one. I'm going to right click that one. And the flint spear, I'm going to right click that one. So the bone spear, I'm going to turn that one off. Continuous production. Um, general purpose cutting tool. It doesn't seem to be. The wooden spear we're keeping for general production. Um, leather outfit. Well, I don't have the, the tanning. The tannery has not been made yet, so uh, we won't worry about that one. The bone harpoon. Hmm. Hunting tool. Hunting and fighting. Fishing. We'll keep the bone harpoon going. Flint sickle. Flint knife requires stone polishing. Okay, we'll work on those a bit later. And we are back to normal production. So now, we have no picks. Yeah, well, they, they need to make picks. Um, we've now moved to a point where we want to be able to get some timber. So, I've already got that one. I've already got fishing. We've got... I can actually put an area for hunting. So, if anything moves into a hunting area... Um, I'd be able to have that rather than manually setting them to go and do it, which might be a good idea, actually. So anything that happens to come through this area, they will automatically hunt it. I could bring it all the way up here. I'm not going to do that, though. There's a bear up there that is causing a bit of an issue. We'll, we'll stay away from that one. Let's not, let's not get too involved with that. Uh, stone, 
harvest, cut down trees and collect tannin. Both things that we now need to start doing. So we will go to cut down trees to start with. And see, I've got a load of trees over there. Now, I've got actually some of these are fruit trees and stuff that we're going to want to keep. Where is our work area for all of our trees and stuff? That's the harvest area there. Right? And, oh, there's a bear over there. Right. Where are we going to put this? I'm thinking, actually, we'll clear the trees over here. So let me start by clearing the trees there. And if I go to you, I'll have a maximum of two people working there. And we've got ten logs maximum limit on there. And then we will also go work area, collect tannin. Now, where can I collect? I can collect tannin from... There's three trees there, so I'm going to collect tannin from there. I'm only going to have a maximum of one person work. No, actually, we'll, we'll go... Yeah, we'll just go with a maximum of one person, I should think. Yes, we will. Right, this bear is a bit concerning to me. Let's just keep a half an eye on the bear. I, I do not want that one to come too close. Work area, exhausted, obtain flint. Go back here and obtain flint. So that was up in the mountain up there that we were doing that. Now, there was one more area that was close by that we did actually have some flint available. There's one there, which is... That's not particularly close, is it? And there's another one over here. And again, it's, it's not particularly close, but it's not too bad. I'd rather have that one, even though we got across the river than the one all the way over there. Because that one, we do, we've had these bear attacks coming through. So I'm going to go there for a minute. And you, I'm going to go for a maximum of two people working on that one. And then this one down here, Flint, I will eventually be able to start putting some people mining on that one. But I'll do that after I've exhausted the supply on that one right there. It doesn't actually tell me how many there is. That's fine. That's, that's absolutely fine. Let's unpause. And the bear up there, still concerned about what his plans are. He, some nefarious scheme that he has. There is definitely some nefarious scheme up there. Right. Um... The Feed Guy 29, thanks for the shout out. The time lapse a couple of weeks ago. No worries. If you're in the Great Book of Names, you will eventually turn up in the time lapse. I've actually gone through now and I have mentioned every single person at least once. What has that one got that there for? What's that? Repair. Oh, but it does do it auto repairs. Okay, and we've also got the totem. Let's just slow down a minute. The totem. The totem doesn't actually do anything. Um, first structure totem, first structure tanner, and then we've also got the skull pole. That doesn't do anything either, but I'm assuming that it does do a bit to help overall morale. Right, morale seems to be higher on these people. And then we've got the tanner over here. So with the tanner, we've got uh, leather. Takes a skin and it takes some tannin, and then it will produce that. So. If we've got all of these other bits, how many of these shall I make? Maybe I should make more than one tanner. I'm going to do that. I'm going to build another one. Do 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 there. And I will put another one there right by its side. And then I will also go over here to the tannin and I will increase the number of people working there. You knew I was going to do that eventually. Right. So we'll have that. And then these trees over this side... We're cutting these down so that they're out of the way. And we've also got a bit of um, flint back here. We've then got flint that we can mine from that one. Uh, that's just regular stone there. And what else have we got? Wait, what was that? Oh, mud. Why would I need mud? Is there a thing... What? There's obviously a thing that I'm going to need mud for at some point. But I'm, I'm not quite sure what it is. And my fire appears to have gone out. Fuel. Ah, oh, well, we've got fuel. I don't know why the fire's not burning, but anyway. 
Okay, let's speed it up a little bit. We've got timber. Yeah, we, well, we have got timber here. We've got a couple of them working on the trees at the moment. And there is the bear coming through. Right. I'm going to go. I know that the trader has just arrived. So let's first go to the trader. We've got bones. We've got... I've got some leather there. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go with five leather. I'm going to take all the leather that I can. Now, bone spear, a flint pick, does value five. A flint axe, value ten. I've got wooden spears here. I can trade a whole load of those. 35 versus 35. Okay. So I will do that trade right there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take every person I can in this village. Like that. And take the whole lot of them. And I'm going to send them after that bear. I don't like that that bear is coming so close to us. The mud could be used for basic bricks and structures. That is a point, actually. That is a point. It could very well be used for something like that. Okay, let's just speed this up. Speed this up a bit more. The bear is running down over here. They're all coming after him now. Here we go. We, we, they're, they're moving in. What are they doing? Where's he got? He's, he's over here. And he's... He's hunting and attacking. But I need my people to come after. Here, here come my people. Right. Oh. Cave bear attack. God, you've got to bring him down. Taruk has been killed by a cave bear. And he's... Right, he's down. Taruk, unfortunately, passed away. He's done a lot for us as Taruk. He's, he's been a, a useful man. Um, Iman, adult woman. She's injured, but she'll survive. She'll be all right. And then we've got that old male cave bear up there. It wandered right past the, the, um, the camp over here, which is what I was a bit concerned about. But now... Has the death of this um, person and the injury, has it done anything to, like, really knock morale in the village? We've got you over here, adult woman. Her morale is way down. That, that's very likely to be because of the, the death of the old man. That's what I would guess. So they're going to go in there. They're, they're bringing out the food. She is... Right, they're, they're just using the fire at the moment. So does, does the fire actually, like... How do you find... How do you increase morale? Uh, this human has low stats and perform tasks at reduced efficiency. I don't... I, poor guy did not make a ranged weapon. Exactly, they went after with... Um, oh, yeah, well, I got four slings here. It says that we've got four slings. Right, I didn't have them permanently made, but they haven't been using them up. I've got four slings there. So I have got people with slings, but they don't seem to be using them. And I've got someone over here that doesn't seem to be very well dressed. He should be. Right, this dude, Troc, right over here. What's wrong with him? Going to get a wooden harpoon. Um... These two look unnecessarily pale. Are, are you, like, ill or something? What's wrong with you? Her morale is going down. Oh, no, recovering morale. Dran, the adult woman. Oh, Vor... I see there. Vorak has died of old age. So I've got 14 people in the village. But i got two people... At the, did I have some people join when I wasn't looking... Um, I'm thinking, we do need to get pottery fairly soon. We've got 11 knowledge points now. And 15 is the next lot of not is, is the points right there. So then we'll be able to use that. And I'm just wondering. Right, so we've, we've got those four slings. Maybe I should put slings. I've got enough skins now. Right, I've got six leather. I've got 27 dried skins. So I'm going to put um, slings onto permanently being made so that everybody will use them. And we've still got the biface. Everybody's using that. And now I've got a load of flint picks and flint spears, flint axes. 
Bone harpoons fishing. Iman has contracted an infection. It's not very good. Right, these guys here, their morale is slowly picking up. It's go it looks like it does take a while to pick up their morale. Um, okay. We've got an infection over here. How do I cure an infection? I don't have the, I don't have the necessary medicine. I've got some very pale looking people here. Right, I've got some very, very pale looking people. Look, uh, uh, these... I, th I think it's um, some new people that turned up, maybe. Something like that. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, I know that I've, I've got plenty of meat. I've got loads and loads of skins and things like that. So let's, let's just speed things up and we'll watch what happens with morale and stuff like that. Acquired fruit times 10. Knowledge plus 1. I've got lots and lots of skins. I don't want to go doing too much hunting or anything like that at the moment. Iman has died of her infection. And we've acquired stones. So we've got knowledge plus one. Now, their morale is slowly raising up because of the religious structures that we've got in place. Which is a very good thing. A spiritual one. I don't have any more at the moment, so I can't make any more. No storage slots left. Storage slots for what? Storage slots for what exactly? Up in there. Oh! Right, well, we've got... We've got We've got loads of stuff. Right, well, in which case, um, let me get rid of that one, and I'll go to build, and we'll go to storage, and we'll go for a second storage tent, and we'll bring that one over here. Now, that one... You know what? We'll just put the two side by side like that. There, so we'll let them build that one. A little bit of low morale, but the, the morale is not that bad at the moment. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, skins outfit times 10. Knowledge plus 1. We need one more knowledge. That one is now finished. Okay, now we have got loads more storage space. We can put a load more stuff in there. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 at 3 people per tent. We could also do with another residence, I think. And I will put that one... Right in here. We put it there. You know what? I'm going to move it over this side. I'm going to put that one over there like that. So we've got just a little bit of extra space for people to go and live if they want to. That's going to use up some of our skins as well. The morale over here. People's morale is slowly lifting. Yeah, there were a few people that were really down. And yeah, there would be because we had a few deaths in the camp. But overall, things is now starting to pick up quite nicely. We've got plenty of tannin. We've got the leather work is slowly, slowly making leather over here. As is that one over there. I've got more materials coming in. I think that is just about all of the timber that we've got available. And you over here... Now, your morale is really low. I don't know why her morale is quite so low. Never mind. We'll leave that. We'll, we'll leave them all going. They, they, they seem to be doing fairly well at the moment. We've got some of these um, aurochs and stuff over this side. Let me just press tab. What have we got in the way of creatures that we could potentially hunt? We've got bison over here. Let's go with one of them. An adult female bison right there. It's medium dangerous, but it's not as bad as going after that bear. The bear was this, was quite a bad thing to go after, but I'm hoping that they'll be able to come after them. we got eight slings now. So I'm hoping that's... Well, you know, I honestly don't think a sling is going to do a lot of good against one of those creatures right there. Ancient bison attack. Oh, wait going on here? Ancient bison has escaped. Uh, I need you all to come after this one. Ancient bison adult male. Come after this one. This, this, this one's attacking me. You. 
I don't think I'm going to be able to help her. I'm going to send her over there. But I don't think I'm going to be able to help her. I think it's too... Oh! No, it's not too late. We've just... We, we've literally just saved her. We have literally just saved her in the nick of time. Um, going to the tent. Right, we've sent her to the tent. I don't know if she will automatically go back to doing other things afterwards. We'll have to find out. She's in a bad way at the moment. But she didn't actually die. And I'm assuming that that would be a good thing for her. So let me have a look. So what happens now while she's in the tent? She rests and that recuperates her health. Right, that's a good thing. Okay, so she is injured. But she can recuperate her, um, her health over a bit of time. And that should help matters. And then we can bring that one over there. We've got some skins moving out. We've got some leather being made. So let me go to the crafter now. And leather, a light outfit made of leather. And this is a warm outfit made. Skins outfit, leather outfit. So... Right, well, what's the difference between the two? Is there is there a, a, a difference between them? Related resource limits. Is it better to have leather, or is it better to have uh, the skins? I'm not actually sure. I'm not, I mean, we've got some leathers here, but I'm not quite sure which one it is. Which which one would be best? Trader, right there. I've got... Actually, I've got nothing that I want to... Excuse me. i got nothing I want to trade. i got loads of items. We're very self-sufficient here. But, um... Has anyone seen Miss Monkey Pup lately? Uh, yes, I did see her on World of Warcraft not that long ago. It was only a few days ago. She's been moving house in real life, or she was, and it was some other stuff as well. So uh, she's been quite busy, which means that she's, you know, obviously real life does have to have to take priority. A new human was born. We have a baby human somewhere in our camp. Not quite sure where said baby human is, but there is a baby human wandering around somewhere. And we've got over here, we've got some grains. Uh, we can't do anything with those until, well, until harvest time. And at the moment it is winter time. We've got the skins, we've got the, we've got the food. I see no reason that we won't be able to make it through the winter. I just need one more knowledge point. Let's see, what does this do? General resources, grouped resources. Okay, I'm not... I, I need to be able to get game menu, help, game speeds. I've got game speed going as fast as it can. And I'm gathering things as fast as we can. That one there. Uh, next work area. Previous. Edit. Remove that work area completely. And I'm going to want some more trees. Now, this over here is our harvest zone. And then I've got a tannin zone there. So this area up here is the one that we're going to use for trees. So if I go like that, I go place a work area and I cut down trees. I will chop down all the trees in that zone right there. And I will also limit it to a maximum of two people. You know what? We're going to go and we're going to work through our work areas now. And I'm going to increase all of these to three people. So, uh, oh, hang on a minute. I can just do that. So three people there. Three people working on the fish. Three people collecting. And stone as well, three people. And then that work area right there. Okay, so what's this? Production limit for vegetables is set to unlimited. Grain is set to unlimited. I think that's everything. That is indeed all and every single one of them. Right. So I've got those work areas there. They're all set up. But I don't really have anything beneficial. What is this? Bora. This, this is new people. I've got new people turning up in the village. Here we go. Are they going to bring disease? 19, I've now got five new people here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tents. I've only got space for 21 people, so we need to build another tent. It's gotta be our first priority now. And we won't put it we won't force people to live close to the tannery over there. 
So what I will do is I'll move that one there like that. And I'll put a shelter there and I will build another one here like this. And rotate that round. My voice is getting very, very croaky now. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I think we're going to... Uh, right. Um, I was just wondering how long we got. 35 minutes left. Which will be fine. I will be able to do that. I will be able to do another 35 minutes before... Um, it would be a very, very good idea to rest my voice. I, I can cope with this much. Right, what have we... Ooh, uh, survive the winter. We are low on food. Ooh, we've not got very much meat now. Okay. Let me go to our primal view a second. What are we going to do? I've got some small ones. I haven't actually been out hunting for a while. This is very remiss of me. I should have been hunting. I have got a big savage beastie over here. And I've got that one right there. An ancient bison. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with everybody. And we're going to go after that one right there. Send everybody in. Send them all in. We do have the 15 points, and I will get that 15 points done in a second. Quiet 10 town in. Here comes the people. Here comes the people. And boom, look at that. Right, all of those people right there. I've got a goat there. I've got a, a wild boar over here. Send them off after the wild boar. You know what? Forget that. He's gone too far away. He saved himself. Go after the horse. There. Sneak. Did they get him? They did. They managed to get the horse as well. It's, un <laughs> it's under the water. Which is... <laughs> that's really not very useful. At all. Under the water over there. But we did get it. We did. We, we, we at least managed to hunt it. I don't know if it's going to have benefited us very much. Right. Let me just bring that down to there. 17 points. Click to unlock pottery. There we go. Mesolithic era. So seven points gives us stone polishing. Um, which gives us... Uh, oh, we need... Uh, required for copper smelting underground mining. Gives us the flint sickle and the flint knife. So we want both of those. This one here, archery. That would be really good. Uh, grain processing. And then pulse processing. And then that one is sledge making. Should be rather good. Okay, I, I don't really know which of those I'm going to go for next, but milestone, unlock, humble beginnings, knowledge plus two. So I've got four on the knowledge already. Is it summer in Great Britain? It is Snake and Cactus. It is now summer. Well, technically it's not. Summer doesn't start until the 21st, but it's close enough. It, it, it is close enough now for summer. Where is this wolf attack? Ah, there. Right. Bring him down. He's going to Marolk. That's Marolk there. Gone, you lot. Bring him down. There goes the wolf. Did we... Oh, no. That's... The rest of them are fine. Um, they're all fine. Right, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, summer colds are usually pretty bad because um, it's cold weather that kills the cold virus. Um, so, yeah, not ideal. But anyway, um, that's, that is why they can take longer in summer, is because the warm weather does actually help the virus to um, survive better, uh, which is an odd thing. It's a very strange thing. The reason you ca you generally catch colds in the winter is because everybody has all of their windows closed. And so you're all rebreathing the same air all the time. And, and that's generally how they spread. Uh, right, let's not worry about that, though. We, so I can't make those any bigger yet. Storage, I can't really change those. Production, I've got nothing new at the moment. And spiritual, I've got nothing new at the moment. 
So I'm still waiting on getting some more of these. I don't actually have... Like, I've, I've now got the... What we got? i got spiritual, defensive, metallurgy, production over here. A well requires well digging. Flint mine. Mortar requires grain processing. Patching and weaving. Patching and weaving. I don't have pottery yet. Where do I get pottery from? Or is that just something in here? A bow requires archery. Hmm. Uh, leather outfit. I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to put that one so that it's, it's sort of going permanent. Acquired slings plus ten. I still need one more knowledge. And then we can get grain processing, which we can use to make a number of different things. Uh, I could go for archery. Oh, stone polishing. I'm going to go for grain processing, I think. We'll process grain. Now, I've got grains over there. Have I got any grains over this bit? I don't actually have any grains on this bit here that I'm busy working at the moment. Let's make sure that the game speed is going along quite nicely. Um, we're doing the fishing. Fishing, we're... we're we're slowly fishing this lot down. I might need to move the fishing zone soon. And flint. Let me have a look. Wait, where's the flint? Have I not got any flint left? I'm looking around for my flint and I don't see any. I must have used it all up. I can hear... Oh, I can hear a donkey. No, that's... Oh, there's a pack of wolves over here. We have no flint and the trader has arrived. Right, trader. Do you have any flint? Uh, cured meats. Skins, outfits, leather, dry skins... He doesn't have anything there. Right. We will go instead then. I will go to that one right there and go to mining like that. I don't need to do anything else to that one. I think I can just leave it like that and they will just go and mine that one of flint. So let's carry those on. Uh, you're the trader. So what are the rest of you got? They're all hungry. Have I got... No, I... I, sh I thought I had food. I don't have enough food. This is becoming a bit of an issue. Uh, right. Butcher that one over there. And then... Wait a minute. Go to you. Now, I can capture a young wolf. Or I can hunt the young wolf. Capture the young wolf. That one... Hunt... Hunt. Hunt. Bring down these wolves. You know what? You cancel. Capture. There. We'll do it like that. Okay. Let's speed this up a minute. Let's have a look. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. We've also got an adult cave lion over here, which is a little bit more of a concern for me. I've got wolves over here. People are going after trait. We have no flint. Wolf attack. That one there. They've got the cave lion over there. I'm going to cancel that hunt there for the cave lion. This one here. Hunt. Right, now what are they doing? Okay. That one's down. I've got a bear over that way. And then I've got a young one over there. We're low on food. Right, keep going. I'm thinking that wolf is probably going to escape. We'll ignore the bears. We won't do anything about those. Wolf attack. I've now got a storm. Keep it on game speed time. There. 
Look. Bear attack. Okay, how do I get everybody up here to go after this bear? Go. This person here, they, they've got no hope. They've got absolutely no hope. Oh, but the bear is... Oh, nice. Okay, the bear is down. That bear is down. What else do we have? I'm... So, right, we've got... We're, we're, yeah, we're really low on food. This, this is a major problem. We're low on food. I need to keep bringing the food back. I've got a load of meat now. I do have a massive amount of meat. Now, I'm going to go with you over here, and I'm going to say a maximum of four people working on there. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to find another area, another work area. Go to there. Place work area. Hunt fish. Extract water. Collect tannin. Oh, fair. Food. Right. And... There's a massive amount of food that I can put in onto that one. We have no flint. It keeps coming up with we have no flint. Let's go with four people maximum there. And I also need to go up here so that we can do this. So click to unlock the grain processing. We will do that one. We'll deal with that in a minute. And you over here... So how do I how do I get it to do the mining? Do I need to place work out? We've got fishing, mine, mine ore, copper smelting. If I go with obtain obtain stone, obtain Oh right, I can put that obtain flint right there. So that will come over and then it will include that one. And I can go to you. So we've got a work area here. I put a maximum of three people on that one. And that should work through it. Um so that will deal with the flint issue. And now we've just unlocked the grain thing as well. So let me go into production and see what else we've got. A mortar to crush grain into flour. Let's put that one in here. I'm going to do two of those. We're going to be probably quite glad of them. Production. A second mortar over here to put grain into flour. And so far I have got four more knowledge points. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're low on food, but we're not low on any house. So housing is fine. We've got five grains at the moment. In here, flour. Right, well, if we're getting flour... Oh, and we're now continuously preparing bread as well. It's in the fall, which means that we should be harvesting... The grain. Where is the grain? Have I harvested it? There were some grains over here. There. Einkorn. Right, go and harvest that one. Chickpeas over there. If I find any more... Gra if I can find some more grains, we'll go and get those as well. So I'm pretty sure there was some more. Not that far away from the camp that i seen. So we'll take those... There's some grains. Emma. Right, I will harvest all of that one. I'll send them after those two lots. That should... Are they going to just go through? How quickly are they going to do that? They're going to go all the way over there. They're going to get that lot. Harvest them. So how quickly do they harvest the whole lot? Right, the grey bar go the grey bar's going up. Oh I see, right. So they, they grab it all and then they bring it back through. So we've now got thatch, we've got the straw, we've got grains over here that are being processed. That means I'm making bread. I don't I've got one lot of grain at the moment. It says I've got one lot of grain. So how do I act oh right, wait. Trader. Trader, trader, trader. Have you got any food? You've got right, you've got flour. That's good. And you've got some dry fish, which we will buy. And some bread. Yes, we'll definitely buy some bread. I don't want anything else from you. So I will use... That's only 14 in value. Dry skins. Uh, leather outfit. I suppose we could. Should we have one of them? Might as well. And we'll go for a few of these. So that's going to be 
20 of them, and then I want a one. I want, uh, I want just one. Excuse me. Right, 21, right there, there we go. So we've now got a little bit more grain over here. And I want to go... I still want to find some more grains. Lots in beer, parting give. Great streamers always, sir. Uh, cheers. Thank you very much for your support, Lossing P. That is absolutely fantastic of you. Absolutely brilliant. Um, good evening. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it and I uh, hope to see you again soon. Right. We've got another one over here. Let's go harvesting that rye over there. They're a little bit far apart. But you've got to remember, you can only harvest these in the autumn anyway. So we might get to the point where we run out of time. I've sent them off after it. I'm ordering them to go and get that rye. But are they going to get there before the end of the year? Are they going to get there before the end of autumn? I don't know if they are. I'm looking... Oh, there's, there's our people. There's our people. They're on their way. No, they didn't. They didn't get there in time! Failed. We failed! Our food is very limited. We've got everything else. We've got skins and stuff, but we just don't have the food here at the moment. 19 people. New human has joined the settlement. New, uh, times four. Reach population. Okay, milestone unlocked. Expansion. Knowledge plus two. So I've now got a whole load more knowledge. Um, we're going to go with stone polishing. Copper smelting. Here, look. Thatching. Underground mining. Well digging. Fortifications. Serial domestication, that's what we need. Serial domestication, that would be very cool. We'd be able to do a lot with that. Um, as well as goat domestication over there. Um, I could leave the rest of these and I could jump straight to the Neolithic. Let's see if we can do that. I'm not going to do anything for a minute. I'm going to see if we can get there. Oh, wait, no. I've got to do pulse processing. So we go with that one. I go with the pulse processing. And we'll wait until we've got another 15 points and we'll see if that actually does anything. Another human was born. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, I'm running out of space. Work area exhausted flint. Really? Oh, good gravy. Some of your people have no warm clothing. This is not good. Uh, I've got plenty of dry skins. It's just going to take them a little while to, that they've got to build up the stuff. Right, okay, work area. Let's go with obtain flint first. Uh, actually, if I go like this, that right there. Right, what do we got? There's flint there. There's two lots of flint right there, and... I know that's, that is a little way away from us. But where else have I got flint? I'm looking along here. I'm looking around here. Travis Dudley, I'm so sorry I'm so late. The notification never came across my phone. No worries, dude. No worries. You are here. We are very pleased to see you. Let me go there and we'll start picking up some of that flint right there. And we'll go with three people potentially working that site. Um... But we've got people with no warm clothing. So let's go back into this mode. We've got no animals. Right, there are no... Oh, actually, wait. No, there are animals right here. Go with that one. Go after the wild donkey. Go after the young female wild donkey right there. And then over this side, we've got a herd of cattle over there, which I don't do anything with. There aren't any more animals anywhere nearby. Right, look at our settlement. Not on this side of the river. Apart from... Boar, over here. Let's not go with those yet. Let's go... With these over this side. So I've sent some, pe I've sent some people after these two. There's two of them right here. This is the only animals that are anywhere near... No more. Right, that one's run. That one's run a long way. Some of the people have no warm clothing. We've got that one there is done. Wild donkey has escaped. So let me go back to my godma. Acquired meat times one hundred. There's the donkey. 
Go after it again. Go after it again. You can do it. I've got complete faith in you. Uh, Randall White, time to take the kid out to play in the yard and sprinklers. See you all another time. Very good of you to join us. Dustin Cordell, kind of... Uh, oh, Civilization. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to read in on a, a, a full full conversation now. Never mind. Um, there's our donkey, and we got one person going after said donkey, still. Acquired flint times ten. Go on, you can take this donkey down. He's, he's, he's injured now. He's badly injured. You can get him. He's badly injured. We're not that far away from our home, actually. I, I reckon that he's not going to escape. Let me do that a minute. And let me go there. Hunt. Go after him. Somebody go after him. Go this way and go after him. He's on his own. He's going to stop. He's got to stop running eventually. I got a load more donkeys down there, but this one is badly wounded. Where is it going? Oh, he's gone all the way over here to get a drink. So I'm hoping that some people will come after it very soon. And that is going to solve some of our hunger problem. There we go. There's the two people. And there's the donkey gone up there. Get him. Yes, at last. Right, I knew we'd be able to do it. The work area, we've already exhausted all of the flint from that work area. And, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go after the young bear. That should be fairly easy for people to do. I've got another bear over here. Right, there's that one down. There's another young bear over there. Go after it. And then we've got cattle moving in over here. All right, they very quickly took that one down. So now we've got all of these, look. Now these are a little bit more difficult. We've survived the winter again. Go after the young auroch there rather than the bigger one. Except that that's going back across the river. We have survived and we've got a little bit of food. Are we gonna are we gonna be able to do it? Are we going to be able to do it? What's this? Oh, there's a there's a dead bear there. I didn't send him after that one, did I? Orox! First animal hunter I have never hunted an Orox before. Okay. Right, well we got a bear there as well. There's there's some more food for us. And all right, I'm looking around now. We've, we've gotten through the winter, so we should have food coming through, coming into us now, which will help. We've got 23 people here. I, I definitely need some more shelters. I've got eight. Eight knowledge points. I want to try and get that one. Um, requires knowledge 15 and pulse processing. I already got the pulse processing. So I'm hoping, really, really hoping, that I won't need to do anything else. I will just be able to do it like that. Uh, production. Yeah, I don't need to worry about any rest of those. Let me go to residence. Over here. And I'm going to put a number of these back here, look. Um, there, I'll put three more of those in like that. Another human was born. Thurod has died of old age. Tent times ten is knowledge plus one. We can get just a few more knowledge points. I've got a load of that. We've got more Aurochs down here. Right. I got an idea. I'm going to just pause everything a minute. And I'm going to go out like that. And I go like that. So that I've selected everybody. And I want you lot to come in. And go after that one right there so we're gonna we're gonna do this we're gonna get everybody come over and go after just some of these and that's one that's the big one right there if they will go after that one first there and they've gone after that one and then we go after that one as well there like that now where are those three going those three aren't going anywhere at the moment. Well, they are sort of. Uh, 
Right, so go after that one. Let's just speed it up a little bit. Here come all the people. Right there, over there. They will go after that one right there. Take that one down. The rest of them are running away. Go after you. Okay. Big, big hunting party like that. And now... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Everybody can come after that one. Are they going to get him? Right. There's a load of carcasses all down on the floor now. And... We're going to go after them. They're all already being butchered. Every single one of them now. They were hunted. They're now going to be butchered. So all of the people will go after all of those. They will bring them back. And we won't have to worry about them. Have I got any attacks going on? No. Okay, so there's no attacks going on. It looked like a giant bird just came in and grabbed something and ran away. Uh, we've got a storm coming in. I've got blueberries over here. As people people will be coming after that eventually. I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. Let's let's keep going. We want to keep going. I just got all four of the Paradox games on sale. Been wanting them for a while. Okay, that's pretty cool. Getting all of them all at once. And uh, you over here. So we've got a lack. Of, we don't have a lack of food anymore. I got 30 raw meat has just been brought in. I got a load of raw meat that we can put straight into the dryer over here and we can start processing that. Um, let me just go there. One thing I will do is if I go to production and I go to the food dryer like that, I will put a second food dryer in there. Plus, I will go to the trader Emza right here. We've got Stone polishing. Oh. Oh, I see. Right. It unlocks the actual thing. Stone polishing. I don't... I don't have stone polishing at the moment, do I? All right. Let me just pause that. Stone pol... I don't have that. So I can... I can learn stone polishing from the trader. Okay. That is a very cool thing. That's going to cost me 150. Which is a lot of wooden spears. I don't have enough. Actually, it's going to cost me 195. Their commission is low. Right, there's all my wooden spears. Bone harpoon. Flint spear. Flint is rather valuable. Let's, let's go with a couple of those. Um, some flint picks. Those are only five. Tannin. That's one. Dry skin. One, two. Straw. Sling. Skins. Outfit. I've only got 12 of them. I'm guessing that's spares. Uh, bone harpoon, the biface, logs, flint, stone. Use up a load of the stone. Stone is dirt cheap. I can I can get lots of stone. Um, same with logs. I can get lots more logs. So I got 170. I need another 20. Flint spear, flint axe. Go with the flint axe. Now I need five. One biface. Five. 195. To unlock stone polishing. I think that was a good trade. I think that was a good trade. Now, it says that we've got... No, we, we do have food. we got food up there. Uh, let's just go down here a minute and go to build. So, residence. We don't have anything extra there. Storage. A haystack. A place to store straw. All right. Let's build a haystack. I don't really know why we want to be building a haystack, but we will. And... What else are we going to want to build? We go to production in here. We've only got five minutes left on the stream. I'm actually surprised at that. I'm really, really getting into this game now. You know what I'm going to be playing this weekend, don't you? You know what I'm going to be playing this weekend. Uh, there's nothing new on there. So we go here into the crafter. And let's have a look. Is there any? Yes. The flint knife. Butchering and fighting. Or is this one butchering, harvesting and fighting? That is the, the flint. So I... Um, take off the biface. I'll take that one off. And I'll put those two on instead. We'll use those instead of using um, the biface. We've, we've got the more specialist tools there. That's good. I've only got 11 knowledge points still. I want more knowledge points. 
I want to be able to advance to the next level if at all possible. Wait, 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 wait. Now. A load of people right here. And a wild boar right there. Go for it. Go and get him. Okay. Don't go and get him. All of you just go for that one instead. Alright, don't go for the wild boar. Just go for that one right there. Take him down. There's a wild boar over there. These wild pigs. We did. We finally got one. We finally got a wild pig. Although it's not the first time we've got we've done that. There, I knew there were big birds flying around. Are they going to be able to do anything with that wild pig? I don't know if they are. Acquire raw skin times 100. There's another point of knowledge. I've got 12 knowledge points at the moment. Right there, I need, I've got pending materials for that one. Sticks. Uh, that's tannin. Where's my stick gathering zone? Got sticks there. Right, I've got a work area here somewhere. Oh, there's the work area for sticks. And I don't have that many sticks here. Let me remove edit work area. I'm going to put that one down over there. And we'll leave that with those that same number of people. But we'll move it over there. Just, just the tiniest fraction. I think that would be better. Um, right, so we have done really well this evening i think we we've done really really well indeed i'm i'm quite surprised at this we've also uh, we got two more humans of just a population has reached 25 15 yes brilliant we got the 15 so we can now do serial domestication and i don't know if this is just in time or not but we've reached the neolithic point serial domestication unlock neolithic unlocked and we now have Farming. Farming allows you to automate the production of food and sustain more people in settlement. You can plant a variety of crops, then harvest and process them to feed your people. Crops are usually planted in winter or spring and collected in summer or autumn. It is important to plant a variety of crops. Disease can easily wipe out all the individual single species in order to maximize efficiency of the harvest. Make sure you have enough sickles around. Of all crops, cereals are probably the most important. They are not only a source of grain, but also straw, which is a vital resource, both as a building material and also an animal food. Right, acquire grain times 10. How, oh, plant, right there. So, einkorn, barley, emma. We can, we, we can plant these. Uh, click and hold to place a field. Ha 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 ha, nice. There's a field. Right. Place entity. And I will go for einkorn as well. And I'll place that field over there. Like that. Right, now it's currently autumn. They will make the field. And, well, I'm hoping that they will plant it now. So we'll let them do that. And now I know over here there is some emma right there. So if I harvest that... And then there was, oh, it was rye over the other side, wasn't it? It was rye up over there that we found previously. So we could harvest that. Uh, have I got enough of the various different crops around to be able to do a little bit of planting? I'm not really sure. What's happening here? Have they planted? I don't know if they plan. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Whether I'm supposed to do anything with it or not. I, I, I don't actually really know how that's supposed to work. But unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to find out today. Um, we will have to try and do it a bit later. Uh, well, I say we will have to. I will have to try and do this. Probably in my own time this weekend. If I can tear myself away from Factorio. Which, to be honest, is probably fairly unlikely. I do play a lot of Factorio at the moment. I love that game. Genuinely love that game. Right, we have no flint. We have run out of flint yet again. Now, I've got flint up there. Better pause this a second. I've got flint up there. Place of work area. Obtain. Flint is the single biggest problem that I am having in any of my settlements now. In any of my set with With the settlement. Right, that is the single biggest issue. I've oh, wait. Wow. Okay, there's a lot of flint over here. A long way away, admittedly. 
But there is a lot of flint over there. And then I've got two lots right there. And then we've got another lot there in the mountains as well. And I know it's not very close. I'm sort of thinking maybe we ought to seriously consider going for that. I do have this bit over here. But whether or not those that the cattle are going to... Oh, hang on. No, I've got two lots right there. Let's uh, We'll go after that lot for a minute. We go there first. Two. We'll go with four people going after that. There. Right. Let's speed that up. Right. Um, Factory Town. Daniel Wells has been playing a bit of Factory Town. I've looked at that. I haven't played it yet, but I've def I have been looking at it. Wolf Attack. Okay. I'd Honestly, Hunted Wolf, Knowledge times five. I don't think that will... I don't think that wolf stood much of a chance. Not really. Look at, looking at this, I, I don't think that wolf stood much of a chance, to be honest. Look at him. Dead on the ground over there. Surrounded. Completely surrounded. That's all right. We don't mind. Right. Anyway, thank you very much to all of the moderators that turned up this evening and moderated and kept you all on a straight and narrow. And thank you to everybody else that turned up to watch the stream as well. It has been absolutely fantastic seeing you all here. Um, I personally have really enjoyed playing this game. It's It's got a lot of potential. There's, like, there's a lot to do in this game by the look of it. And there's still a lot more that is still to be unlocked. I've got loads of different things that we can do. And as you can advance a lot further. So the game has definitely improved since I last played it. It was quite limited when I last played it. Um, and also it was a bit laggy and a bit buggy as well. And it now seems to be nicely balanced. There does seem to be a good balance in the game. And I've been thoroughly enjoying this. I've been really getting into it. And you probably noticed because I've sort of completely forgotten about the chat for long periods at a time. Um, if you shift and double click on a resource, I think it highlights all of them in the vicinity. Ooh. Let's try it. Raider attack. Uh-oh. Right, hang on. Uh, shift and double click on a resource. It should highlight all in a vicinity. Let's go and see if I can do anything like that. Um, there. Uh, what is it? Shift. No. Shift. Double click. I tried that. It seemed to have worked. Right. I got a raider. Where, where are these raiders? Does anybody see the raiders? I'm a bit concerned. Oh, is that the raider? We we got we got to watch this. But uh, thank you very much to everybody who has turned up. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. And next week we will be playing multiplayer on um, Farming Simulator again on our server once more. And then the following week at the moment, I'm not really sure. Ah, uh, here's the Raiders. Here we go. Here's the Raiders. Let's see what happens. Right, we brought them both down. First Raider killed. Yeah, they're all down. Okay, that's fine. And the trader has arrived. I need, I need, I need to do this. I, I need to find out. Right, they've got flint axes. I don't want to trade flint axes. Oh, I've no. Hang on, I've got some spears here. I could, I could trade in some spears. Trade value. Wait, what? Trade value one. Oh, it's because we've advanced. Because we've advanced, the trade value has dropped considerably for those. Okay, well, we won't worry about it for a minute then. Um. But, yeah, so uh, thank you very much to everybody that has turned up. I have absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, if you would like to come along and influence future streams and suggest games, uh, just generally have a chat with us all, then please do consider joining our Discord server, the Frithgord. There is a link to that one in the description down below. That is generally run and operated by the most of the people that you've seen moderating the stream this evening in particular smoodalini the great drago bear he is one of the top dogs over there on the um discord but don't let the power go to his head don't don't praise him too much daniel wells i'm off now great stream for you thank you very much sir it is absolutely brilliant of you i really appreciate your support 
Um, it was absolutely great seeing you here, and it's nice to have someone who's played this game a bit. You were able to sling me a little bit of advice as we went through, because all I've done is sort of um, the, the previous stream and a quick tutorial to refresh myself. So a lot of this was new to me. But anyway, there we go. I have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.